as you may or may not know, the default outbound access for VMs in Azure is being retired next year. That means that at that point, you're not going to be able to just spin up a VNet and a VM and then have access to the internet from that VM. You would have to provide some form of connecting to the internet yourself. And this is a good thing, in my opinion, because that default outbound access is part of that Azure magic that I really don't uh, like that much. But it does mean that we have to provide some way of, uh, you know, outbound access for our VMs. And that is what we are going to be looking at today. I'll talk a bit about the NAT gateway and show you how to set it up, because that is probably the, the simplest um, approach that also scales somewhat well. Uh, when the default outbound access for VMs will be going away. So the NAT gateway is basically what the name implies. It's a gateway that does NAT. So whenever your VMs connect to the internet through a NAT gateway, they, you know, route the traffic through that gateway. And what the public internet sees will be the public IP of that NAT gateway. And it's fairly simple to set up as well. So let's jump into the portal. I have a pretty simple uh, demo environment set up here. I have a VNet, I have a VM, and of course also Bastion so that I can connect to that VM. So if I go to my VM and just Google what is my IP here, you can see that currently my IP is 20.240.241.85. So that would be the default outbound access providing me that public IP address. So now one way of providing public or outbound access to our VMs, even after the default outbound access is going away, is to create a public IP and assign that to the network card of a VM. So if I go into my network card and to IP configurations, I can clip my IP config and associate a public IP address. Now let's create a new one. Just call this pip01. Okay, and save. And just wait for that to be deployed. Now that that has been deployed, you can see that my IP configuration has a public IP of 20.240.42.176. So if I go back to my VM and just refresh this, you can see that the public IP address has changed. And this is now the IP address of that public IP that we assigned to our VM. But this is not something that you want to do because you now have exposed your VM to the public internet and it really doesn't scale all that well. So that is where NAT gateway comes into play. So let us remove this uh, public IP again and hit save. Now it's gone and my VM doesn't have a public IP. Go back to our VM and hit refresh. And you can see that my VM now has yet another new public IP address. And this would be one of the random IP addresses that you get from Azure. Now let us set up our NAT gateway and use that instead. So back to the Azure portal. Uh, in my resource group, I'll hit create and I'll search for NAT and select the NAT gateway, create NAT gateway and just call it NAT01. Uh, hit next to select my outbound IP. And here you can select either one or multiple single public IP addresses or you can select one or multiple public IP prefixes so we can go really simple and have one single public IP for your NAT gateway, or you can have a whole range of them if you so want. Uh, I'll select just create a new public IP address here. Call this pip02. Hit OK. Then click Next to select the subnets that this NAT gateway will be used for. So first select my VNet and then take off the default subnet, which is where my VM is connected. Hit Review and Create and then create. Now that that is done, let's go back to our resource group and take a look at the configuration of my NAT gateway. So as you can see, it has associated to one subnet and has one public IP address. If I click the 
one, you can see the public IP addresses it has. It has the PIP02 and the IP address is 20.240.234.72. And on subnets here, you can see that it is associated with my default subnet. That means that when I go back to my VM now and hit refresh, the public IP address should have changed to what my NAT gateway has. And indeed it has. So that is how simple it is to set up the Azure NAT gateway and use that as a means of providing outbound access for your VMs in Azure. And another use case for the NAT gateway is, of course, if you want to have a bunch of Azure Virtual Desktop session hosts set up and you need to have a bit more control over the outbound access or the outbound IP address for those VMs. So you can even use your NAT gateway. And uh, if you want to know how to set up Azure Virtual Desktop, you can check out my video over here on that. And um, yeah, subscribe, like, all that jazz. Other than that, cheers.